Okay. Well, here we are back again. Now, question's been asked about what happens once you finish your law degree. Because some people, from a lot of people, decide they'd like to enter the legal profession. So one of the things you have to do once you've completed the law degree is undergo a period of practical legal training. Okay, there's, what's that, uh, Robo Lawyer? Are there are different ways of doing it. Yes, there are a couple of different ways of doing it. And, you know, you should look at the web pages for the law societies and the bar associations, and they provide the details of different ways of doing your practical legal training. But it's one thing which is very important when you make application to be admitted to the legal practitioner, you have to state that you're a fit and proper person. What's that pencil dog? You're, what does being a fit and proper person mean? Well, it, it's hard to say, but for example, I guess if you had a criminal conviction and that would make it more difficult to show that you were a fit and proper person. And in fact, it, it probably would also depend on how long ago the criminal conviction was. Okay, so it generally criminal conviction. What's that angel of learning? You're worried about if you get a speeding ticket, will it stop you from being admitted? I don't think so. Okay, so here's angel you can talk to the camel. Okay, the other one which is important is if there's dishonesty, something like that. Now one of the things which is starting to come through is where students have been found guilty of academic misconduct at university, and in particular plagiarism. And if they've been found that they've plagiarised, that's a matter which they have to take into account in deciding whether someone is a fit and proper person. What's that, uh, uh, Robo Lawyer? What about the case of Audrey Humsey Hancock? Yes, that was a case which actually involved that a couple of years ago where a person was looking to be admitted and they'd been in, involved in a plagiarism incident at some university and the matter went finally to a Supreme Court judge. Well, so but the important thing is, it's for the admitting authority to decide. So I'd like to think everyone, as they're doing their law studies, bears that in mind, that their behaviour can have a subsequent effect on their chances of being admitted to the profession. What's that, a, a pencil dog? What happens if you go and bite the law lecturer? Ooh, I don't know. I hope you don't want to go and do that, even if you are disappointed with your marks. <laughs> uh, well, I think we'll say goodbye, everyone. We'll say goodbye, Ro Robo Lawyer. Goodbye, Robo Newman. Angel of Learning. Pencil Dog. Camel. And Little Russian Doll over there. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>